everyone, peace be upon you all. I'm Amy and welcome to my channel. Today I will be trying out these products from Hourglass. Here I have the Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick and the Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Brush. They both come with really nice sleek packaging and the brush looks like this. It comes with a shaper to make sure that it stays in the shape that it's in. And the foundation stick itself is really cool. It's in a triangular tube and again it has really sleek packaging just like the rest of the hourglass products so the foundation looks like this it's really cool comes up as a triangle and I have this in the shade buff I actually got this before I went on vacation and got super tan so we'll see how it works out for me either way we'll make it work so I got these awesome products with Influencer. So if you guys don't know what Influencer is, it's an awesome site where you can go to discover products. You can also read reviews and also review products yourself. It's really easy to sign up. You hook up all of your social media accounts that you want to hook up. So you tell Influencer a little bit about yourself and what you like. Every once in a while they send you a survey for you to take and based off of that survey you either are chosen for a campaign or you're not. So I took a survey and I was chosen for this Hourglass campaign and I did get this Influencer Vox box sent to me for free and I have also gotten other Vox boxes sent to me for free in the past um, which is why I love Influencer so much. It basically gives you the chance to try out products that you probably wouldn't have had the chance to try out otherwise. I did receive this before this actual actual product launched on Sephora.com so that's pretty cool as well you get the first exclusive look at products and whatnot so it came with this little postcard on the back of it it says some things about this foundation so it says that this foundation has the double amount of pigment versus traditional foundations for instant full coverage the formula adjusts to body temperature to blend into the skin for the smoothest most seamless finish and it has a 12 hour long wearing waterproof formula and it's also available in 26 shades. So over here you can see that there are 26 shades. It has light colors and dark colors alike for a range of skin tones. And also this brush is PETA approved. It says that it is designed with the ideal shade density and texture to achieve the most seamless finish. As you can see, it kind of has like a slanted shape. So it's perfect to get around your eyes and around your nose and all those hard to get to places. It's not too big um, and it looks like the perfect size. So let's go ahead and get into using these products. I've already prepped and primed my face. So I have the foundation in the shade Buff, which I got before I went on vacation and got super tan. So either way, we'll make it work. I'm sure it'll be great anyway. I just love the shape of this foundation. So as you can see, I have problematic skin. I don't have the perfect skin. I have large pores. I have acne and acne scarring. Um, I have hyperpigmentation, which means that I have spots and areas which are more red or darker or whatever than the rest of my normal skin tone. And I have textured scarring, which just means that I have some cratered acne scarring and dips and whatnot in my face, which is fine. Um, nothing can really conceal that. So let's go ahead and get started. definitely not this white in real life but I do love the finish on it I have not been this tan in a really really long time I don't think I need any more honestly so I am going to finish doing my face makeup I'm gonna bronze up a little bit and hopefully it'll even it out a little bit
with my makeup. I'm doing more of a simple look today. I did not use any kind of concealer today at all, which is pretty amazing. And here is the finished outcome. So all in all, I used one layer of the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. The coverage is pretty good to me. I do have, again, uh, some textured scarring so it doesn't look like an even skin tone, but that's just my skin. Nothing against the foundation at all. Because I did use some setting powder and whatnot, I'm not worried about getting too oily throughout the day, but I am sure if I was using the foundation alone, then I would get oily. I would recommend this foundation for dry skin as well as oily skin, but for the oily skin, I would definitely say make sure you set your face. It definitely does have a seamless finish around my forehead and my chin and the areas that don't really have that much scarring. If you have this foundation, let me know what you think, and if you have any questions, then please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you to Hourglass and Influencer. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video.